with the Sea Hunt Game Fish 25. It's the top selling uh, 25 footer in the industry. And it's easy to see why with all of the features that come standard and the great rough water riding uh, hull design of this boat. It is a, a new age hull design, modified hybrid with 60 degrees dead rise on entry, which is gonna give you your soft dry ride. So to cut that chop in the front of the boat, then a 26 foot regulator per se, which is 46 in the front and a very sharp entry boat. Good rough water boat too. So 60 degrees is extreme. And then you got 24 in the middle and 21 in the rear, which gives it a very quick planing hull design, stability, as well as with twin 150s, the boat does about 52 miles an hour. Comes standard with the hard top with vapor misters and powder coating. Comes standard with underwater LED lights, vacuum flush head. I optioned the windless anchor here. Um, very nice hull design. This is a black boat, all black. Flare is extreme. And the thing is, our flare does not end before the T top like many of the competitors. Our flare goes all the way back past the driver. And that's why you stay dry in these boats. All the way to here is where the flare ends. The only way to tell that on these boats, because some of them have an illusion, is to run your hand down them. So when you're comparing these boats, run your hand down the front of the, the boat flare and see where it ends. Ours is past the driver. Our T-top is moved forward a little more, which gives you more room in the back of the boat. And there's your hard top. Now, new for this year is our side entry door. And there's a rear folding bench back here. Uh, this door is very practical. You can use it to get grandma and grandpa on the boat. You can use it to get your dogs in and out. Uh, push a cooler through it. You know, throw your paddle board out there and just step on it. Um, you can get a ladder that comes here, as well as you could pull a fish through here. So whatever you want to do with this door, it's going to be a big practical use. Uh, Non-skid all around the back here. Stainless steel pull-up cleats all the way around. Very heavy duty gauge of uh, stainless that is used on these boats. Look how big these eye rings are on the back of the boat. Uh, recessed trim tabs, and here's your LED lights that are standard. Underwater LEDs. This year, if you're in New Jersey, we're New Jersey outboards, obviously we are. 3.5% sales tax. It was cut in half this year for boaters. Awesome. Stainless steel uh, props here. You got twin 150 engines. I told you the boat could plane with one engine down. That's how well designed it is. And those 150s playing this boat in 3.7 seconds, and you do about 51 miles an hour. The ladder this year slides on out and hides away. It's a big dive ladder, and there's big steps to get on up here. It's deep, and they have uh, pretty wide feet on them. All right, let's check out the inside of the boat. This boat uh, has a Step through transom door here, walk through transom door in the, in the rear. Um, premium tan interior, it's the highest ply and it's a waffle vinyl which keeps the boat cleaner because uh, the dirt doesn't stick into it. It sits on the surface, cleans off easier, and it keeps cooler. Nine foot four beam on this boat. And very high gunnels all the way through. All right, in the back, you got a rear folding bench. It also just picks up and lifts and comes right out. No pins needed. Huge cooler box with a cutting board on top. And everything is piston and gasketed on this boat, a uh, feature you don't get on many more expensive boats. Big cooler box or fish box, whatever you want to use it for. It's all insulated. Non-skid all the way around, so you're not slipping when you do need to get off the boat and a live wall in the back with an embossed logo. See how nice. Big stainless scuffers. It will, everything will drain overboard. Here's your uh, side entry door and the nice new Seahawk logo. It's beautiful. Here's your high gunnels. You got rod storage on both sides. You also got a nice tow rail, which a lot of people like because uh, a lot of boats are getting rid of it, but it's good to hold on to. If you got a gaff of fish or you know, do anything on the outside of the boat, you gotta bend over. There's an area here to put whatever you need in there. Uh, cleaning utensils, uh, fishing stuff, just dry storage. Roll water wash down. Uh, this is a half moon live well, comes standard with this boat. You can uh, put a knife in here. You can also hook a bunch of hooks up 
with your lures and have them all ready to go. Uh, the live wool has friction hinge and it holds anywhere you want it to. Nice feature. And it's a deep uh, aerated live wool with a light. Really nice. Every time you go faster, it fills with, with more uh, water. So when you go from spot to spot, it automatically does it for you. Along the side here, you got some tackle and some draws. Here is key more knives. And on the opposite side, more tackle and knife storage. This is a uh, fresh water wash down here. And our tournament chairs are awesome. People really like these, they're comfortable. Uh, when you're driving, you just lift this guy up here and you see this curve here, your back, the smaller your back just really sits really nice and tall here when you're driving, because that's what most people do. Um, this is a footrest down here. And the arms for the bigger guys now, you can get on in here, they, they fold up for you. So really, really nice seats. Uh, you see them on more expensive boats, something like that. Five rod rocket launchers in the back, they're all powder coated. Uh, four on the back here, and then you got another four on top of your hard top. Now the hard top has LED spreader lights, it comes standard. Um, it's got vapor misters that spray down on you to cool you down. Built in, speakers, and courtesy lights. LED courtesy lights, that's throughout the whole boat. So between the underwater lights, the LED courtesy lights uh, throughout the boat in different areas, like down here, uh, the whole boat goes up a light blue and so does the uh, outside. The electronics box is up here and that's got friction hinges, holds anywhere you need it to as well. The helm comes with Command Link Plus for your Yamaha gauge. It's one big touchscreen gauge right there. And trim tab indicators we uh, put on this boat. And what Sion does, which a lot of guys don't do, it's, it's, it's interesting, but they give you all the real estate on the dash for your flush-mounted electronics. You can fit twin 12 inches in here, um, maybe even bigger. It's, it's definitely better than a lot of other boats. A lot of boats put the gauges right there in front of you, and you got to put your GPS to the right or over to the left. Uh, Infinity Stereo this year, it's Bluetooth, it has serious satellite capabilities as well as you could hook up USB and auxiliary input right here. All of your switches are all right in front of you, 12 volts on both sides. Really well done, awesome boat, they think of everything. Here's your high gunnels and more LED courtesy lights right here. Um, large enclosed bathroom with a fiberglass door, not plastic and a big deep head with a porcelain vacuum flush toilet. Everything can be uh, gone overboard or pumped out. The front of the boat has bow backrests and seating all the way around. Also, there's a bow filler cushion that fills right in the middle here. And you can have a whole bed and fit three people on it very comfortably. Our bow backrests are the most solid in the industry. They are not coming out of the side with a hinge and screws in the fiberglass. Watch out for those kind of bow backrests because there's definitely going to be failure and you can't sit nice and comfortably straight ahead like you can on our boat. In our boat, you can sit up here while driving and doing 50 miles an hour because it's deep. You can hold on to the recessed rail and we have a soft dry ride unlike most of the other boats and the boat planes actually comes down on plane very quickly so you're not up in the air and thinking you're going to fly out of the boat. Very, very well done, um, especially with this kind of a hull design. Now the center console seat, which is in front of us, the center console is very big it's very tall and it can fit two kids on it easily um a mom and a son or whatever you want to do it, it, it's a really good seat and uh, it's very roomy comfortable here's another side of the top and below here is a fish locker or storage locker whatever you want to use it for insulated and it drains both sides left and right both open up with gaskets and pistons and are both insulated drainable fish lockers or storage areas just opens on up for you in the front here you got the powder coated recessed rail as well as your windless anchor uh, box. This is anchor box, a windless anchor here. And there's buttons to use it up 
front or you can use it at your helm. Let's show you a nice view from up high of this great layout and great offshore boat. So for more information, give us a call at 732-505-3002 or log on to njoutboards.com. Thank you.